Good morning. Today when I woke up, the Lord had put a song in my heart. It was actually an old hymn that he had called to my memory. It was one that's based on Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. The particular hymn that I was thinking of was written by a fellow named Isaac Watts. He was a pretty prolific hymn writer. And the one that he wrote was entitled, O Bless the Lord My Soul. I want to share it with you today. Now, last time I included a hymn in one of my devotions, I was chided by several people, including one of my sisters, for not singing the hymn. It's not all that unusual for me to sing hymns during my devotion time and to just bust out into a song when I'm walking around the church or at home. So I'm going to do that today. I invite you to sing along with me if you feel like it. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul, let all within me join, and aid my tongue to bless his name, whose favors are divine. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul, nor let his mercies lie. Forgotten in unthankfulness, and without praises die. Tis he forgives thy sins, tis he relieves thy pain, tis he that heals thy sicknesses, and makes thee young again. He crowns thy life with love, when ransomed from the grave. He that redeemed my soul from hell hath sovereign power to save. He fills the poor with good, he gives the sufferers rest. The Lord hath judgments for the proud, and justice for the oppressed. His wondrous works and ways, he made my Moses known, but sent the world his truth and grace by his beloved Son. We have so much for which to bless the Lord, to praise him, to give him thanks. But one of the things I really love about this particular hymn is how it brings it all into its proper focus at the very last stanza. How he sent the world his truth and grace by his beloved son. That's reason to make a joyful noise to the Lord with your singing. We're still in this season of Easter where we're celebrating the resurrection. The fact that Christ was willing to suffer and die to pay for sins and that he was raised again to give us the guarantee of eternal life with our God. The grace and the truth that came through Christ is good news. Something for us to celebrate. One of the things for which we should bless the Lord. And we pray. Father, I do thank you for the blessings in my life. May we all be mindful of just how richly you have blessed us. May we live this day with a confident attitude that we are your blessed people. Thank you for claiming us as your own, for sending Christ to be our Lord and Savior, and for giving us the certainty of forgiveness and salvation for his sake. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.